And welcome, welcome back to another wonderful day here on Wildberry Island. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be back. I, I can't believe we've been gone so long, honestly. And I am so excited for all of the updates that are going to happen. And I feel so much like myself again. My cute little bun, my cute little hibiscus. And I am totally packed and ready for some fantastic pixel biology adventures. Uh, and I'm also realizing we have so much to do. You guys, we are going to be so busy just taking care of everything on our island if we want to be ready for all of the amazing events that are going to happen once the update and the new DLC arrive for Animal Crossing. And in honor of that, you guys may have noticed something that's kind of cool if you check out the title of our new season. It's a new season of Wildberry Island, season two. And we're no longer Wildberry Island, we're Animal Crossing. Crossing New Horizons Wildberry Archipelago, which means a group of islands, because we're gonna have more than one island. We're gonna be able to go and we're gonna be able to make a resort for everybody, and I'm so excited, and it's gonna be awesome. And also, my house is a mess. I think I have like no bells to my name. Let's see, we've got 15,000 bells. Oh yeah, I picked up some candy yesterday, and I couldn't, I couldn't put down this really cute umbrella. Isn't it just adorable? I had to get it. Yes, we definitely need to expand our store. And yes, that means that Tom Nook needs a lot more of our money. Not to mention with all of the new things that are going to be arriving on the island, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to have like a lot of money prepared if we want to be able to go ahead and, you know, build a kitchen, get all of those adorable ingredients, make a farm for Cranston, and uh, just kind of in general be able to run around with Captain and do all the other adventures. You need fuel for adventures, friends. And one day that fuel is going to be delicious food. But for now, that fuel is money. So today we are going to work on basically shaking down the whole island for all of its fruit and also a, um, a spring cleaning, an autumn cleaning, the great spring cleaning of a whole bunch of the stuff that we have in our house in order to see if we have anything worth selling. Uh, and we're gonna actually start with some of the stuff out front here. And so we're just gonna go ahead and put those away. I'm gonna actually see if I have a new type of reef we could use as a decoration. And let's dive in! Oh, I still feel so bad about stepping on Comet yesterday, but it looks like he's here, or like one of his family members is here. They probably will move out after we clean up the house, but I can't believe it's finally time! It's finally time to clean! It's finally time to give this place like a proper makeover and make it look nice and tidy. Ooh, and they'll learn the spooky candy set! Oh, Cranston, thank you for giving me a new DIY! We definitely should, like, craft some candy for him. All right, what's the new DIY recipe? Let's go ahead and go over. <gasps> Orange pumpkin and candy. I can't believe I haven't learned how to make that yet. And I wonder if that actually means that one of our villagers will have more new DIYs for me. It's going to be really fascinating to have new DIYs to actually work with. But all right, so operation, clean out thy pockets. And then, let's see. Peach chair, we'll go ahead and put that in storage for now. The silver mic I went ahead and the high-end stereo I went ahead and grabbed off of town. It was in front of our town. The simple parka is actually really cute. <gasps> the mush log! Oh, I need to put that out front! It is about to be mushroom season too, and I actually have never experienced mushroom season in Animal Crossing, which just blows my mind. You think I would have gone ahead and done that yet, but I actually haven't. All right, blue rose reef, wonderful. Bunny day basket, definitely need to save that. Shell partition, absolutely. And the rest actually happen to be a bunch of pumpkin starts so we can start a really nice little pumpkin farm for Cranston. Hopefully today, but we'll have to see. I need to collect some candy and I definitely need to put this mushroom log out. Excellent, all right. So let's go see what else we have hiding within our wonderful storage that we might be able to just yeet. All right, floor seat, I'm going to sell you. Mermaid chair, I think I had to craft that special. Modern office chair, well, I probably could have kept that, but you know what, we're okay. Uh, zen cushions, we'll go ahead and sell the zen cushions for now. If I don't have an idea of what to do with something right away, it's, it's headed out. Let's see, den desk, well, you know what? As cool as those den desks are, 
I don't really have an idea of what I would do with, I guess I could put it upstairs. All right, we have the wedding things are super special. We actually have to keep those. The iron work table and the cardboard table I might actually use soon. The beach towels are for laying down like outside in the grass, but uh, I think that the grass has changed colors. So I'll sell a couple of those for now. Rose bed, sleeping bag, tatami bed is really cool, but I don't really have a plan for it. A safe, maybe. Stone arch, shell arch, some of these things. <gasps> Yay, mushroom partition. Yes, we're going to put the mushroom out. <gasps> the clay furnace and the brick oven. Oh, you guys, I need to keep anything and everything associated with making like the cutest little kitchen because that's going to be on our list. All right, mush lamp, soft serve lamp. Both of those can go. Um... I don't really have a plan. Oh, this is really cute little street organ, but I don't really have a plan for it just yet. And there's a lot of street organs for some reason in my pockets. So we're just going to keep yoinking things. Double refrigerator, ironing board, the video camera. I actually have some plans for those things. And I actually need to send this golden toilet to Chips as kind of like an inside joke. Tingless toilet, I'll go ahead and sell. Let's see. Plants? Are you kidding me? Of course I'm not getting rid of my greenery. That's just a like bridge too far. The server? for now we'll go ahead and sell because we have really important things to do let's see the skeleton and the whiteboard we could definitely use at some point but i don't really have a plan for it right now which means it's time to sell it we'll probably regret this when i actually want to go ahead and like build our house properly surfboard it's not summer so i'll go ahead and sell that for now solar panel uh, we'll go ahead and sell it for now Oh my goodness. Come on, we've got things we need to do after all. Let's see, tourist telescope we might put out. Bird cage, those wheels are useful. Little train set. Climbing wall, probably not going to use right now. The dartboard, okay, I'm going to have to sell that just for now. We have so many things that I want to do. Oh, all right, pockets are full. It's time to go out on town, friends. All right, we'll see how this works. We'll just empty our house of a whole bunch of things for now. We'll go gather up a whole bunch of fruit and let's go visit with everybody. Even though I really do want to sell all of this, I want to visit with Cranston. I want to be able to visit with all the people of our village. The animals of our village, I should say. All right. And let's see, is Blanche home? She is not. <gasps> Look at the cute little bug. I don't think I have that bug. Hi, cutie. I wish I could catch you, but my pockets are full. All right, let's see if I can find some friends. Cranston is currently not home. <gasps> and Cranston's got all the cash. You guys, we should harvest Cranston's amazing forest of cash in just a second here, and then go ahead and uh, plant a bunch of pumpkins for him. I think he would enjoy that. Also, I need to get some of these like amazing flowers out of the way. Oh, hey, Kiki's here today. Nice. Let's see. The mail is overflowing as usual. Wow, nobody's home. Who lives here right now? Gosh, it's been so long. My memory. Oh, it's Diva. My memory for Wildberry might be a little bit patchy, but we're going to get there. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Fauna. That's right. Oh, you guys, I just remembered. We have a visitor at the campsite. So let's say good morning to Fauna and maybe give her one of the things that we're like hauling around. And then we'll go see who the campsite visitor is. Oh, I have missed Wildberry so much. <gasps> Fawn is crafting something. Oh dear. Okay, well, I want to say hello to her, but also I need to like, hang on, Fauna. Let's put down the mushroom things that I, I collected. Oh, look at all these cute bugs. All right, we're going to encourage good mushroomy behavior. Let's see, a mushroom partition, mushroom lamp. All right, we'll place the mushroom lamp. Makes sense to put the mushroom lamp where people will actually be able to like use it as a lamp. And I want to encourage like good mushroom thoughts. So where's my partition? There we go. We're gonna be redecorating this whole place for all of, and all of the cool things that are coming. All right, let's go visit with Fauna. Oh, I love these little crickets. Very autumnal. I like it. I have actually never been in Wildberry during autumn. That's amazing. Fauna, good morning! You haven't been around in a while, Siri. We haven't even spoken in a... Six months? Can that be right? 
Fana, I'm sorry. I know it's been a while. I don't like not knowing what's going on with you, so let's try to see more of each other, okay? Oh, thank you, Fana. Sorry, I was really focused on this. What are you doing? I'm currently crafting a spooky arch just to see how I do at it. Oh, a spooky arch! <gasps> Fauna, may I have it? Yes, I would love to learn how to make a spooky arch. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. But it's been a weird couple years, Fauna, and I'm really glad you've been with us. Oh, I need pumpkins of different colors. The tricky thing is how to get those. Fortunately, if you plant lots of pumpkins, nature will provide. <gasps> we should give Fauna a little pumpkin patch too, you guys. All right, let's see. Yay, spooky arch! All right, let's see. How do we make that one? So, that's going to be up here. I still have a lot of the seasonal DIYs to learn, which is really surreal. Oh, that's really actually kind of cute. I like it. We need orange pumpkins. A lot of orange pumpkins. <gasps> I think Fauna is giving us a little hint that she probably wants us to plant lots and lots of plants. Lots and lots of pumpkins. Yeah, look how happy she, she is about that idea. Need something, dearie? Oh, I can't even give her gifts yet. I'm so glad to see you in your explorer shirt. Because you're rocking it. I think that color ring goes really well with some of my striped tights. I want to see if my hunch is right, so here's a gift for you. Oh my gosh, Fauna, you're so sweet. Thank you! You deserve nice things, dearie. Oh, Fauna! She's so friendly, you guys! Who knows if the striped tights go well with us, but you know what? I'm happy we have them. Thank you very much, Fauna. Like, in fact, maybe I'll just go ahead. I'm going to wear mystery striped tights under our explorer outfit. Because no one can stop me! And Fauna went ahead and praised us. So I definitely think we need to give her some pumpkins for sure. Which means I need to get rid of all the sand! I don't think pumpkins grow very well in sand. Uh, in fact, can I just do that really quickly? Alright, let's see if we can start construction. Alright, let's see. Fauna, I'm going to get you some pumpkins. Alright, and we want to go ahead. Dark dirt? Or I guess, well, do we want a dark dirt pack? Yeah, I guess we do want a dark dirt, like, path. Let's see. Excellent, excellent. We'll give her, like, a cute little patch of, like, six, maybe nine pumpkins. Because I am a traditional Harvest Moon player, and I always think about putting seeds out in patches of nine. <laughs> three by three, because that's the way you do it in Harvest Moon. And meanwhile, maybe I can remove a little bit more of the sand around. Ha! Oh, I feel so happy being able to tidy up Wildberry. And you guys, I'm so excited about the polishing that's going to be added in in the like expansion the dlc because just think of how cute it would be to go around and be able to really clean up your house and take good care of it and then we can go ahead and we can like see the special effects that different items have oh talk about amazing all right good 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 see and i'll actually move maybe i'll move the mushroom partition down a bit and in fact what i think i'll do is we'll move the mushroom partition down. Oh, I'm so proud we cleaned up so much of Wildberry already today. I have a lot of new ideas for what I want to do on this side of town so we can actually make it look quite decent. All right, that should be enough sand for now. And actually, I think I might move Fauna's little patch with its adorable little pumpkins we're gonna plant in it down just a little bit. All right. Alright, fun, I'm making you your garden. It's happening. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. Though actually, I think Fauna is the tidy type who would like to have like rounded corners. Uh, but I think we need nice, nice healthy dirt to be able to plant everything. Alright. There you go, Fauna. Yay! Alright. Mushrooms and pumpkins. That is a good time. I can't wait for mushroom season. I can't believe I like don't have more mushroomy things to decorate with too. All right, let's place this right here. We're gonna put it kind of right in the middle so the mushrooms can go ahead. 
and they can watch over all of their tiny little pumpkin friends that we're going to put in. All right, let's go ahead. Plant some pumpkins. Oh boy, I hope they plant in the right spot. I think they are. So far, so good. See, what did I tell you guys? Little sections of nine are absolutely perfect. And then we'll go ahead and give them a good watering. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Fauna, I hope you have a wonderful time. I haven't planted pumpkins in so long, so hopefully they'll grow well. And we're gonna be able to like dig up gyroid shards and plant gyroids. You guys, it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> All right. Well, now that that is done, I think we'll go ahead and we'll go into the nooklings. Are they open for the morning? Oh, <gasps> what? Is it really that early? Gosh, I woke up early. All right, guys. Well, I can't sell to the nooklings, but you know what we can do? Let's go ahead and see if anybody else is awake real quick. <gasps> Sky! Oh, I'm sure we have a great gift to give her. So, um, Butterbean, I'm gonna come out and ask, have you been avoiding me? We haven't talked in six months. Just in case I did something to bug you, I'm really, really sorry. I guess you're here talking to me now, so maybe I should cut this out before I really do annoy you. <gasps> Sky, no! It's not like that, Mama Sky. Oh, I've missed her so much. I've missed how she says novel and she runs her own little library. I've always admired anyone who can match their outfit to the day's weather, no matter what that is. They must just be style experts. Looking good, rain or shine. Oh, that's so cute. All right, let's see if we have a gift for Skye that she might like. Um, a pile of zen cushions. That seems like something that she might really enjoy. A tummy bed. Let's see. Zen cushions, zen cushions, street organ, soft serve lamp, climbing wall, dartboard, a solar panel. Well, I do have quite the variety of things. Um, let's give her a pile of zen cushions. Just to be zen. Yay, she's happy! I've been hoping for something like this. I've been looking at things like this to use as accents in my place. As a thank you, please take my cycling shirt. Oh, thank you, Sky. I love how we're all about upcycling and recycling and reduce reuse and share with the whole island on this, like, island. I heard you switched up your, the look of your hair yesterday, Butterbean. Wish I could be bold as you are, Novel. Oh, I love Sky so much. She is just so freaking sweet. And you know what we should do? We should build her a proper library. Either finish something like this off properly, or we should go ahead and we should actually give her a room in one of our buildings to be able to have her own library. And we should put more free tiny libraries all over the place because she's just so sweet. I guess we do have two already, but still. And then we have the little observatory that of course, our wonderful Octavian uses. Wow, where is everybody else today? They must really be wandering around. But all right, it's time. Let's go ahead and figure out who is visiting Wildberry as a camper today and what we might want to do about that. Oh, hello. I don't think I've ever even spoken with you, Anakati. I do know who she is, though, because I have her amiibo card. Hi there, I'm Anakati, and I'm totes camping on your awesome island. It's kind of random that I came to Wildberry, but I'm glad I did. This place is the bomb. I'm so jelly of everyone who lives here full time. Let's hang out while I'm here, Cannoli. It'll be fun. <gasps> Maybe she's a really good cook, and she could teach us all sorts of new cooking things. Personally, this island is definitely the best island I've ever seen, or heard of, or imagined, or been to. I don't want to always sell it, you know. I can do that sometimes. But I feel like my life would be way glam if I lived on an island like this. Oh, Anakati! Like, glam it up here, I guess. Like, I wonder if we should go ahead and let her move in. Because we do have D.Va, but I also have D.Va's card. Moving here would be awesome, fab, super, and wow all at once. It'd be awesome, fab, super, wow-tastic! Also, she's got really cute energy. I would love to see her hang out with Cranston. But you don't get my celebrity presence that easy. We're gonna play a game. If you win, I'll move here. Easy as that. Sound good? I'll win for sure. All right, it's a card game. All right, Anakati. What do you think? All right, I've got a card, Cannoli. If this was the TV show, the music would get really dramatic right now. 
<laughs> See, what I love about her is that she's new and we do want to start cooking and she does talk about cannolis. So maybe we should go ahead and let her move in so we can just have a fresh new experience on Wildberry as well. And the camera will push in really close on my face and I'd look at you and say, all serious? Which suit, heart, diamond, spade, or club do you think this card has printed on it? See? Dramatic! Anywho, answer me! Um... Diamond! And let's see what we've got. Ah, oh, it's a spade! Oh no, wrong guess. I win! I won't be filling your island with super cool celeb sparkly light, and that's a downer, I know. I may not be moving this time, but I'll probably write a hit song about our little game, so thanks for the inspo. No! I've lost out! But that's okay, that just means those who are on our island right now are meant to be on our island. Camping alone is so laid back. I can do whatever, whenever, you know, Cannoli? That's really sweet. Hey, how do you feel about playing a game with me? What do you say? If you win, I'll give you my painter's coverall. Well, you know what? I could actually use some painter's coveralls to go ahead and, uh, let's see. Let's get those cards out. I could use those for, like, our cleaning up the house and trying to make it nice and tidy thing. Uh, I think it's gonna be red! Oh, it was red! Yay! Okay! Nice! Well, I will accept those painted coveralls. Nice! Alright, because, you know, it always helps to have more clothes that you have had. Because, man, dressing up the villagers is one of my favorite things in Harvey's photo studio. But if you don't have enough clothes, you can't dress them up. But alright! Well, now we've met, like, Anacotti, and unfortunately we missed out on a chance <gasps> to have her move in. But Sheldon, good morning! Hey, Rutabaga! I like those threads! I'm gonna do a few hundred laps around the island, no big deal. You wanna come, Novel? Sheldon, I've missed you so much! Oh my gosh! Oh jeez, and my phone's all buzzing. <gasps> Nook Miles! You guys, we absolutely need to work on some Nook Miles! Who knows what kind of amazing amounts of, like, everything we're gonna need in Nook Miles to buy all of the cool new stuff. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so much fun. I haven't even completed all the achievements? Are you kidding me? <gasps> okay, we're gonna have to work on completing some of these achievements as well because that's just ridiculous. We absolutely... What? I haven't even unlocked some of them? You guys! What on earth? There's still so much that we need to be doing in Wildberry! I am so freaking excited! Oh my gosh! But alright! Well, I still can't sell to the Nooklings because I woke up way too early and excited today. Uh, but at least I have started to clear out some things and we have started to work on a garden for the wonderful fauna i think she's gonna love it oh, you guys we should plant some of the the cute little bushes that i got from leaf yesterday too all right so let's actually give her like one of these cute bushes over here let's do an orange one okay that's not where i wanted to put it but that's okay do i have any room in my pockets i don't have any room in my pockets that's fine. We're gonna put down a mushroom log. Instead of hiding these things in the forest like I normally do, it seems the villagers are like getting the benefits of my beloved mushrooming. And then we're gonna scooch over a couple of these little bushes. Uh, and I'm really happy with how everything has started for today. All right, we'll put the little beautiful tea olive nursery plant right here. And then I'm going to dig a couple holes because I want to make sure I plant... Well, do I want to plant them right there? That's kind of like in everybody's business. But they're really cute and I think Fauna might enjoy them. Can I plant one behind her house? Or do I need to move my mushroom over? I could plant one right there. Now we're going to start getting in like everybody's business. So I think we'll move over my, my mushroom. One. Come on. All right, come this way, friend. Good job, mushrooms. Oh, but then my, but then my little patch of pumpkins is gonna be uneven. Oh, the horror. Oh my gosh. Well, all right, we're gonna put this back over here then. And then I'm going to go ahead and plant one of the yellow starts. What? That's not where I wanted it. <laughs> all right, that makes sense that I guess the starts can't go into uh, actual holes just yet because they're just tiny. They're just itty bitty. What if I stand right here and I do, let's do another yellow one. 
Okay, and then one right here. Nice orange one. Lovely! You know what? If Fauna wants to have an adorable little little like garden on the side of her house then no matter where it is we're gonna make that happen because she's so cute but all right there we go you guys this is not what i planned on doing for our first day properly back in wildberry but at least we have gotten some pumpkins planted next up i need to spend some time with cranston and i absolutely need to go ahead that's a really cute little outfit is that a yeti outfit you can be a yeti are you kidding me all right, we've got some more work to do this weekend in Wildberry, so you're definitely going to be seeing more of our adventures as we get ready and gear up for all of the big excitement that is coming up. Oh my gosh, and uh, we've got like a lot of work I need to do on the whole island. Holy cannolis. So all right guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful Wildberry Island and finally returning to it after so 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 long. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye